This is Lenny Farley, Purdue University Extension Forester. Now let's ID that tree. In this edition of ID That Tree, we're going to introduce you to one of our bottomland and wet site oaks in Indiana, and that is swamp white oak. Swamp white oak can be found in areas with saturated soil or ponding water seasonally, and sometimes in uh, river bottoms where we have occasional flooding. Swamp white oak is a member of the broad white oak group, tends to have more rounded lobes, and produces acorns that mature in one season. And you can see we've already got some acorns forming. This is the second week of July, and they're gradually starting to mature through the growing season. And one of the characteristics of swamp white oak is the acorns are held on a very long stem called a peduncle that is typically over an inch to inch and a half long. This is much longer than many of the stems uh, of acorns of many of our other species of oak in Indiana. Swamp white oak its genus and species name is Quercus bicolor, meaning two colors. And if we were to flip the leaves over, what we can see is very dark green on top. And we flip it over and we have a very light underside. Another characteristic of swamp white oak. Swamp white oak has a tendency to have very small lobes scattered across the outside edge of the leaf. And the lobes look somewhat pointed at the ends, but in fact do not have any bristle tips as we find in the red oaks. Swamp white oak has flaky, shreddy bark, light to medium gray in color, and this texture is pretty consistent all the way up and down the tree. Another good characteristic. Although swamp white oak is native to mostly wet sites, it will do just fine in upland, well-drained soil conditions, making it a tree that's being selected for landscape plantings more and more through time. Another really good characteristic of swamp white oak is pretty good acorn production and the acorns are very attractive to a wide variety of wildlife species.